Only I could. And that day I decided that I'm going to live life for myself. I am not going to be that perfect person for someone. I am just going to take this moment and I will make it perfect for myself. And you know how it all began? That day I decided that I'm going to fight my fears. We all have fears. Fear of unknown. Fear of known. Fear of losing people. Fear of losing health. Money. We want to excel in career. We want to become famous. We want to get money. We are scared all the time. So I wrote down one by one all those fears. And I decided that I'm going to overcome these fears one at a time. You know what was my biggest fear? Divorce. I couldn't stand this word. I was trying to cling on to this person who didn't want me anymore. But I said no. I have to make it work. But the day I decided that this is nothing but my fear. I liberated myself by setting him free. And I made myself emotionally so strong. That the day I got the news that he is getting married. I sent him a text. And I'm so happy for you and I wish you all the best. And he knows that I pray for him today. My biggest fear, number two, was I won't be able to be a mother again. And that was quite devastating for me. But then I realized there are so many children in the world. All they want is acceptance. So there is no point of crying. Just go and adopt one. And that's what I did. I gave my name in different organizations, different orphanages, and I waited patiently. Two years later, I got this call from a very small city in Pakistan. I got a call and they said, are you Muniba Mazari? There is a baby boy and would you like to adopt? And when I say yes, I could literally feel the labor pain. I said, yes, yes, I am going to adopt him. I am coming to take him home. And that day, I was two years old, two days old, and